this is the calm before the storm, before the surge. And when it comes, and it will come, never will so many ask, so much, or so few. We'll do all that we can to support them. We all need to take steps to reduce close human contact. That's how the virus is spread. Not just at public gatherings or in public places, but also in our own homes, places of leisure and places of work. Large public gatherings are cancelled. All pubs and bars are shut. And we've asked people to curtail or cancel social gatherings, like parties, weddings and other celebrations. I know these choices won't be easy, but they are necessary. Because the vast majority of people have heeded the advice of the experts, we've been able to interrupt the spread of the virus. We've been able to shelter the most vulnerable and protect them. Your sacrifices are making a difference. You've slowed the spread of the virus considerably, but unfortunately we have not stopped its spread. We all know people who are suffering and grieving at this time. Too many have died, and sadly more will die and get sick. Before this is over. So today's message is that we cannot be complacent and we cannot lose focus. What we're doing is difficult but it is making a difference and we have to keep going. We need to persevere and we need to maintain our discipline and resolve. We'll be crossing live to the media centre at government buildings where we expect to hear an update on COVID-19 restrictions from official K of Radcliffe. The restrictions we introduced two weeks ago were set to expire on Sunday. Today, the expert recommendation is to extend them for a further three weeks until Tuesday, May 5th. The government has accepted this recommendation. Well, um, my overall experience in dealing with this is, you know, I work in the customer service industry. Um, my hours are being cut. Uh, rent is going to be difficult to pay. Yeah, uh, so I was filling all the paperwork in, in, involved in processing uh, the help from government that we get. But on the bright side, my experience is that at least, at least, I'm healthy. And at least I'm alive. Uh, There's more than I can say for a few thousand other people in, uh, in the world uh, because of this virus. Um, you know, the kids are entertained. Hogging the PC, I have longer hair, but the main thing is, is I'm, I'm alive, and the objective is to stay alive, not get the virus, uh, if at all possible, until at least a cure comes along, which hopefully won't take too long. My name is David Doyle, and uh, David Doyle has a photography, and this is my uh, little video. Matty!